Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at making the thumbnails in your layers palette a larger size and doing it permanently so it's going to be easier to use. I have a document open here. You'll see that in the layers palette my thumbnails are really nice and big. That's how I like to see them. Let's see how we could make changes to yours. You're going to choose File and then Open and you're going to navigate to where your new document profiles are located. This is the location for a Windows machine and the location for Macs are on the screen as well. So you'll just need to locate that for your version of Illustrator. I'm going to choose Print AI, but if you typically make mobile documents or art and illustration or web, choose whatever it is that you typically use. And let's go to Open. Now this is your AI template. So we're going over here to the last panel. I'm going down to Panel Options and I'm going to set the thumbnail size here to 50 pixels and click OK because that's the size I like to see mine. Now on the face of it, you should be able to save this and just be able to use it in future, but I found that doesn't work. It's not reliable and it's really tricky. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to choose File and Save As and we're going to give it a new name. So I'm going to call this Print Large Thumbnails. And I'll click Save and OK. And I'm just going to close this. So now in future, when we go to create a new document, we're going to click on new file. Now you're going to find this template in the print area, but you're going to have to open up all print presets and you're going to need to locate it. So here's print large thumbnail. So that's a little bit tricky, but over time you will find that this is going to appear in the recent area. So if you use it often enough, it's going to pop up into the recent area. But there's an even easier way to find it, and that is over on this side of the dialog in more settings. You can just open the profile up and you will see that print large thumbnails is here in the list. So I'm just going to use that as the basis for my document but I can change all of these settings. It doesn't have to stay what it is in the preset. You can do whatever you like. I'm just changing mine to RGB. I'll click Create Document. And here is the layers palette and here are the thumbnails at a large size. So that's the way that I suggest that you do it so that it is reliable. If you consistently make web documents and print documents and whatever, then I suggest you just go ahead and create presets for every single one of those with large thumbnails or something else on the end. And it's just going to make life a whole lot easier. Of course, you can also make other changes to your document. For example, adding swatches or brushes that you typically use for this kind of document. So there's lots that you can do, but today we just came here to deal with layer thumbnails. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.